So here we are in the fourth episode, but we haven't even talked about URL session yet. Don't worry, we'll begin that in the next episode. It's critical that you understand concurrency because remember, when your app is downloading a video or a song, you don't want the user thinking your app has crashed. That's why we do stuff in the background. Well, what happens when you finish doing a long running task? Can you just update your user interface from the background? The answer is yes, and the second answer is don't do that. The user interface isn't what is called thread safe, meaning it's not designed for multiple threads to access it at once. It will corrupt the state of the user interface and it will probably cause your app to crash. You must do all of your updates on the main thread, which just happens to be the subject of your challenge. Your challenge is to disable the calculate primes button when it is pressed. Once the work concludes, the button should be re-enabled. Because the project is handled in Swift UI, you can update a property from the background. Afterwards, I'll show you how to do the same thing with the same app, except written in UI kit instead. Pause the video now and try it out. How'd the challenge go? Let's walk through it together now. The first thing we need to do is create a method to enable disable our calculate prime numbers button. In contentview.swift, create a state variable. Now add the following modifier to the button. This sets the button state based on the variable that we just created. Now add the following to calculate primes. Build and run. You'll see that pressing the calculate button immediately disables it, but when the calculation ends, it re-enables itself. Okay, now let's see the same app managed in UIKit. Open the UIKit version of this project, and then open up the view controller file. At the start of the method, the enable prime button method is called. This either enables or disables the calculate button and changes the title. Then it does the work, and at the end, it disables the button. Build and run. Now tap the Calculate button. It works, but this time the app crashes. Check out your view controller, and this time, you'll see a purple indicator. This is the thread sanitizer. This lets you know that you are trying to update the user interface from a background thread. To fix this, we need to specify where the code will run. Add the following code. This code is a shortcut in GCD to run code on the main thread. Now the enable prime button method is run on the main thread. Build and run again. Now you'll see the error go away. Nice work. <laughs> 